Hey everyone, welcome to Custom Made Everything. I'm Tim, and on this episode, we're going to be tackling what I think is the second most important detail of this figure, the jersey. Yes, that's right. I said the second most important detail. This guy's a goalie, so the most important detail's got to be getting the equipment right. So let's take a look at this jersey. And you can see that it's got some details worked into the sculpt of it. And this is going to be our starting point. We're going to get our shoulder bars painted in, and then that's going to allow us to line up our nameplate, which will then give us where our numbers go. And then we can line up our hemlines and finish off the jersey. So let's get started with this top. What I'm doing here is preparing decals for a technique that I've never done before. And that's the beauty of this figure. It's for me. It's not for a client. So I can experiment with things and try out new ways to accomplish a task and see how they work out. And if I'm being totally honest, this was the most enjoyable part of creating this artwork. Troubleshooting and experimenting on this figure took me back to when I was just starting out in this hobby. Back to that time when I first found out people customize hockey players, and I thought, hey, I can do that. Then I needed to figure out how I was going to paint a straight, clean line. What color paint do I use, and how do I glue it all back together? So just like I did in 2016 when I started this hobby, I experimented with things. One of the experiments I tried was applying striped decals on this figure and connecting the dots with paint. And with the yellow lines painted and providing a boundary, I can fill in the rest of the shoulder area with royal blue. Now I don't have to worry about keeping the blue paint clean around the neck, since it will get painted navy. And the navy will cover the other paint colors. With just the blue and yellow paint, this jersey is looking a little too much like the Buffalo Sabres. It really needs that navy trim to make it a blues jersey. There, that's better. And with the shoulder bars finished, I can continue working my way down the jersey. I couldn't place the name and number decal without the shoulder bars as a guide. I also couldn't move forward with the decals for the front of the jersey. So taking my time, I make sure the decal goes on smoothly, and with a soft touch, I brush down any wrinkles before delicately pressing it into place. And, since this is a Stanley Cup Finals jersey, it also gets the Playoff Finals patch on the chest. The last decals for this jersey are the sleeve numbers. Once these numbers are on, I can start on the arm and hem stripes. I apply the same technique as the shoulder bars and place pieces of the stripe decal as a guide, then connecting those pieces with the paint. The theory behind this experiment was that it would help me keep the lines consistent, but now that I've completed the process, I'm not sure if I would use it again. I think I could achieve similar results freehand. And now I start working on the last piece that needs any paint, and bringing this figure to a conclusion, there's only one thing left to say, and that's Play Gloria. team that was in last place on January 3rd. History will be made tonight in Boston. Get up St. Louis. Get on your feet. Raise them high. And the time winds down. They did it. It's over. The game is over. The series is over. The wait is over. And the St. Louis Blues are the Stanley Cup champions for the first time in franchise history.